Hello there, seventh grade microbit programmers. Today, you're going to be working on your final project, which is going to be a fun rock, paper, scissors game that you will be able to play with somebody else in the class that has also completed this assignment at the same time that you have. So go ahead and click on New Project. And when you do, you're going to call this your first name and your last name with rock, paper, scissors after it. Hit create. The first thing I'd like you to do is get rid of on start and forever. We're not going to be using those two. Uh, we're actually going to have this work on the buttons and on the shake. So we first need to define a couple of variables because we're going to need to, to make a couple of things happen here. The first thing we have to do is um, we are going to need a variable for the random numbers. Uh, we're going to generate a random number and we are going to do that uh, basically by having the computer say is it going to be a one, two, or a three? And then that will determine whether we have a rock, paper, or a scissors. So we're going to call that hand because that's really the hand shaking to get that to happen. So hand is going to be one of those. We're going to need another variable, which is called the score. We're going to add a scoring system into this. So the score is going to be how many games that you've won. And we need one more variable, which is called number of games. So the game number is going to be how many games you've played. If you win all of them, that's great, but most people usually don't win all games when it comes to a random, uh, a random uh, guessing game, sort of like rock, paper, scissors. So I now have my three variables. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start by shaking. So the shake is found inside of input. And on the shake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change... The number of games, actually I grabbed the wrong one there, I'm going to change the number of games by one every time it's shaken. So first we're starting, we haven't played any games, so when the micro bit's shaken, it adds one to the number of games. Next, we are going to pick a random number. So we're going to set the hand to a random number. So I go into variables. I'm going to set hand. Now, a random number would be found under math. This is Mr. Reichel, reminding you to take the following step. So to pick a random number, I'm going to go into math, and I'm going to notice here it says pick random 0 to 10. So I'm going to click on that link, and I'm going to drag this over. I'm dropping that pick random number 0 to 10, and I'm going to change this from 1 to three. There we go. Now, if the hand number is a one, so I need an if statement, which is logic. Be very careful that this gets dropped right under the word set. I notice sometimes when we do if then statements, we make some mistakes. So uh, where this is dropped, and this does matter. So if something equals something else, so that would be under logic, which is a comparison. So if the variable hand equals I accidentally dropped that into the wrong thing. There we go. If the hand equals a one, we're going to assign that to show a rock. So to show a rock, this is the graphic I'm going to use. I'm going to just highlight these, and that will be the rock. Now, there is an else if statement, which we have not talked about yet, but this is how it works. I'm going to add to this, and I'm going to click on it one more time. 
when I click on the plus, it gives me an else if. Else if, and once again, I'm going to compare, do a comparison. If the hand equals two, it's going to be a piece of paper. So if my hand equals two, I want to show a piece of paper. So I go into basic, and this will be my piece of paper. Now, if it's not any of those, it must be a pair of scissors. So I'm going to go into my basic drawer. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to draw a pair of scissors. Now, this is about as close as I can get. Uh, we'll go diagonal here, and we will go diagonal here. So scissors, paper, rock. Now, what this will do is, this is going to randomly generate one of those things. Let's try the shape to see what happens. There's a rock. There's a piece of paper. Another piece of paper. A pair of scissors. A rock. Rocks paper, rock, scissors. So you can see every time I hit shake, it's random. Now, we need to put in a scoring system to make this kind of work, to make it a little more interesting. That way, if you're playing against somebody, you don't have to argue who won, okay? Uh, you will mark your micro bit with a winning score. So if I push button A, so I'm going to, on button A being pushed, I'm going to change the score variables. I'm going to change the score by one. So it will increase the score by one each time. I'm then going to show The score, which is in variables. I want to show the string the word of. And then finally, I want to show the number of games that were played. So let me explain what this will do. Every time you hit the button A, it makes the score increase. So let's say you play three games and you won one of those games against your opponent. It's going to show one of three games. Now the question is, if you're playing with one person, that's fine. But what happens if you want to reset it and play it with another individual? Well, that's what button B is going to be for. We're going to input if button B is pushed, so if button B is pressed, I want to set the number of games to zero, and I also want to set the score to zero. And we'll change this to score. And the other thing I want to do in this particular case, I'm going to want to clear the screen. And a clear screen can be found right here under the basic drawer. So if I push B, nothing really happens. It just basically says, OK, it's going to clear everything out. Now let's test this. Let's see if this actually works. I'm going to start by pushing button B, so that should reset all of my values. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to shake it, okay, and let's say the person uh, with me has a pair of scissors. So rock crushes scissors, so I won this game, so I'm going to push A. So I won one of one games. Now next, I'm going to shake. I get a piece of paper, all right, and Paper covers the rock that they got. So I won this game. So now I have won two of two games. That's not too bad. Now I'm going to shake the rock or shake again.
this time I get a rock, okay? But the other person had a piece of paper, so I lost this game. So I don't do anything. I just shake it again for the next competition. This time I got paper, the other person got rock, so I push A. I've now won three of four games. So this is how this is going to work. Uh, once you've done this, make sure you download this onto a micro bit. And if you want, uh, you can use a battery pack that I will have up at the front of the room. And you can detach this from your Chromebook. You can shake it and uh, sort of roll around to anybody else that has the game ready to play. Have a good time. Good luck programming your final project, Rock, Paper, Scissors.